Hi. Today I'm going to talk to you about something I've seen in the news recently. It's Joe Biden is supposed to be the uh, top Democratic contender for 2020. Now, Joe Biden says he's not running, but who knows? But Joe Biden, Joe Biden's nothing but a big windbag. Joe Biden was a senator, what, 10 years ago? He wasn't a businessman. He's just a senator. He was taking up space in the Senate, talking all of his bullshit and all of his other stuff for eight years till a year and a half ago. For those eight years, he was vice president for Barack Obama. The guy who goes around the world and I'm a globalist. You're all my buddies. Here, let me bend over and you take your boot and kick me in the ass. You know, a, a fucking guy who couldn't get legislation done, so I have a phone, I have a pen, uh, I have a paper, I can write this stuff down, I can get the, all these executive orders done. I don't need you. Well, yeah, and they all got thrown out when Trump got in there. But let's get back to Biden. Biden's a fart head. Biden goes around, well, I'm the friend of the people. I'm the friend of the working man. I'm this, I'm that. He's a big mouth politician. Okay, here's the difference between him and Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not a politician. Donald Trump is a businessman. Why have we been getting things done? Why have companies come back? Companies not left? Why has he been successful in that area? Because he's a businessman. He's treated running a country like a business. You may dislike that. You may say that's a capitalistic swine. But that's how things are done. That's how the world is ran. All these other politicians, uh, Jing or Ping or whatever his name is over in China, Merkel, uh, fucking all these other people there, Macron, they're politicians, they're big mouths. And what's going on with their countries? <laughs> they're going down the shithole. All Merkel wants to do is keep bringing in refugees. Macron, he has a terrorist attack every five minutes. Over in Britain, they want to get, get out of the uh, European Union. And that Theresa May's nothing but a lap dog cunt. And she's trying to fight the will of the people over there. So she's nothing but another lap dog politician. And speak of Britain, yeah, that's a, that's a real free country. If you go on the internet and you say something to somebody somebody doesn't like, they go to the police and the police arrest you. Yeah, that's real freedom of speech, freedom of expression. That place is nothing more than a goddamn uh, Soviet gulag. But you take a look at the European Union. Look what's going on with Hungary. Look what's going on with Poland, Italy. They're all saying we aren't interested in that shit. But that's the globalism and that's the horseshit there. I want to get back to Biden. Biden's one of these globalists. Biden's nothing but a let me bend over, let me kick you, kick you in the ass there. You know, uh, I'm a big, I'm a big buddy of the whole world. I'm the buddy of the working man. Well, the white working man, you're a buddy of them, huh, Biden? Well, what are you, the salmon swimming upstream? Because the rest of your Democrat party. The other 99.99% .99 of it don't think they need white working people for shit. They don't want them. They've come out and they've, they've actually said it. We don't need them. So, so you're the white working man's buddy, but the party you represent that you would run for don't need them. So you're a hypocrite liar because you aren't going to be nothing without the party behind you. And they gonna want those people, so I don't know who the fuck you're gonna help. And let's get into your track record. 
What track record do you have, politician? Donald Trump is a businessman. You may dislike him. You may dislike what he says. You may say, oh, he's mean to women and everything. He's no meaner to women or talk anything about women more than your husbands do and your sons do and they do in locker rooms. So don't hand me that garbage. That's bullshit. You don't like Donald Trump because he's a Republican and he's a conservative. And he's not really a Republican. But he represents the Republican Party. But he's a winner because once again, he's running the country like a business. He's, he's getting more money in your paychecks. He's keeping your jobs. He's getting rid of unemployment. He's cutting your taxes. That's everything that the Democrat Party doesn't want. That Joe Biden would represent them. So he would not want any of that stuff. So all the stuff that Donald Trump's done to help improve your lives, Joe Biden and his bunch would want to throw away. Turn around, raise your taxes. Go give more welfare to this one. More food stamps to this one. More, more of their so-called affordable health care to these people. And none of that shit helps anybody. Their affordable health care is ghetto insurance from ghetto doctors. Food stamps, how do food stamps help you? Food stamps barely keeps you alive. Welfare, how does welfare help you? Welfare, once again, barely keeps you alive. None of those things improve your life. None of those things help make you successful. All of them have you sucking on a government stick. All of you have you keep coming to the government with your tin cup out. Can I have more? Please, can I have more? They don't improve your life. Democrats all think you're the child. And they're the adult. And you have to come beg. They have to treat you like kids. They got to give you everything. You don't have to do nothing for it, except have your taxes raised, bring over more immigrants who will kick you off your fucking job, and they'll come work it and put their friends in, and then speak of the Democratic Party. Yeah, that's right. Pelosi and, and uh, Schumer and Feinstein, at the soonest opportunity they've got, They'll kick your asses and every other white person out the fucking door and bring their own friends in. And what's going to happen to your, to your relatives, to your grandchildren, to your children's children? Well, they'll be, they'll be the new poverty because they won't have a job. All these people you want to put your hand out to to go help everybody else, they'll come in. They'll take their jobs. You'll be, you'll be groveling for nothing, for crumbs. They'll be, they'll be the, 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 the leopards of the new, of the new uh, world. Joe Biden is nothing but a pompous, big mouth politician. Donald Trump has got out there and he's done things and made things successful. What People are, is Joe Biden going to get? The one the Democrat Party doesn't want? What successes does he have? He has nothing except a big fat mouth and a track record of, oh, the senator's sitting on my fat ass in the Senate for the last 50 fucking years. You would go and throw somebody down the street because he's a Nazi, he's a fascist, he's none of those things. And he's not discriminatory. He's not a racist. You would throw that man out to put somebody else in there who's got a record of zip. Are you stupid? Are you suicidal? I hope you don't do that. Maybe you'll be stupid enough to go vote for the porn lawyer. You know, Stormy Daniels' uh, friend Avenatti, go vote for him. You put any of those people in charge of this country, and they're not going to do anything for it. They're not going to be successful. 
You tell me what record they've got. You tell me what plan they've got. The only plan they've got is running their big mouth there. And, uh, I'm this good, buddy. I'm that good, buddy. That's what all bullshit politicians say. We don't need somebody's buddy. We need somebody who's successful. We need somebody who runs things like a businessman. You take the businessman who's put money in your pocket and you talk about throwing them out for some sort of some political scumbag. Yeah, you better think that one through long and fucking hard before you go and do something like that. Or you might as well just go buy a gun and take it, put it to your head and pull the trigger because you'd be committing suicide either way. That's all I got to say today. You have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.